by day, he performs weddings and christenings, but by night, he's engaged in a clash with all things ghoulish. We first met the man who calls himself the real-life exorcist a few months ago, as Reverend Jason Bray revealed his very unusual extracurricular activity. But now, uh, as it's announced there's a new exorcist <coughs> sequel in the works, Jason joins us live to reveal some of the more ghostly goings-on that he's experienced. These are all in his book, Deliverance. Um, and so um, the, 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 the thing is, Jason, I mean, as, as I said there in the introduction then, you sort of do your weddings and your baptisms, obviously the sad bits, the bereavements, uh, but also a deliverance minister. So how do you become that and what is it? Right, deliverance minister is what, um, you know, sometimes we're called exorcists as well, but uh, we try not to use the word uh, exorcist too much because um, it conjures up all sorts of uh, images of, uh, you know, sort of Hollywood films and uh, spinning heads and all that sort of thing. Don't know what the new film's going to be like, but um, uh, maybe a bit of a spoiler there. Um, so we call ourselves deliverance ministers and um, effectively we're sort of people who are interested, we're sent off, we're trained. Uh, to do this sort of thing and um, you know and then where, where the people that get called in when you know sort of uh, uh, your uh, local vicar can't deal with it or um, you know when uh, when they need a bit more help really. And so you have quite the toolkit with you because you mentioned some of this last time what do you take yes. in your bag? Right okay the bag <laughs> okay so um, here it is um, it's also featured in the, uh, in the cover of the book that uh, um, um, you know, that was sort of published a while ago. So I've got various different bits and pieces. Um, one of the important things that we carry is um, this sort of holy water sprinkler here. Um, so uh, when I go to a house, I bless holy water, um, add a small amount of salt, and then sort of go around and sort of sprinkle the uh, um, sprinkle the walls and uh, the doors and that sort of thing with uh, with holy water. And um, it's a sort of uh, form of prayer. What we're doing is sort of inviting God uh, to deal with the situation. Um, so that's a sort of, you know, something that we almost always do. Uh, I've also got a sort of communion set in here. So I've got, um, you, gosh, there you go, chalice, which is, um, you know, the best that we use for uh, the wine. And I've also got a uh, pattern, which is the uh, plate that we use for the bread at the Eucharist, at the, the Mass, if you like. So, um, so sometimes we'd bless the house and sometimes we'd um, celebrate a, a requiem Mass to, uh, um, you know, just to sort of ease the soul from um, where it is now to where it should be. Where it should be. Yeah. Hey, Jason, the, 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 you were once out, you know, plain clothes as you describe it, and, um, and, and yeah. a guy, guy came up to you and said that he needed your help. And it surprises yeah. me. I mean, you're in the church there. Um, you are trained by the church. This is, this is uh, uh, accepted by the church, encouraged by the church. Insured yeah. by so, the church. So, um, it, you know, it's one oh. of those things that we would always have thought, oh, this is frowned upon by the church. But in actual fact, it mm. is in, in, encouraged. And as Holly says, you're insured by the church. So this guy that came up to you is one of the many stories that you tell. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, what happened, it was um, absolutely glorious. Um, oh, gosh, summer day. It was a sort of classic barbecue weather, really. And um, so, um, you know, we'd been to the beach, we were sort of getting out of the car. And um, I was outside the church um, at the time. This was when I was uh, in the cathedral in Newport in South Wales. Uh, and I was in my civvy, some shaved, you know, sort of T-shirt, jeans, the, you know, the lot, uh, getting the kids out of the car. And a guy walked up to me, a young guy, looking slightly agitated and said, um, are you the priest? I, I sort of looked at him and thought, you know, what do you mean? What do you, you know, you know what do you want? He said, no, no. He said, are you the priest? Uh, I said, well, yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I am. And, um, and he said, because I was told that if I stood here, um, I would meet the priest. And what I needed to do is to come home and, um, and bless my, uh, you know, my baby daughter because she's, she's not thriving, is the word that he, she, she keeps getting infections and that sort of thing. Uh, and he said, will you come with me? So, um, so he sort of tried to encourage me to sort of effectively get into the car with him, which is, uh, um, you, know, you know, a bit of a risk, really. But I said, look, you know, tell you what I'll do. If you tell me where you live, um, I'll come along and I'll do, um, you know, I'll do what I can for your baby daughter. So, um, so, so took his address, then went to shave, changed, you know, got into this sort of kit and, um, and then went off and um, sort of found the house, a 20 minute drive away. And um, there in the house was um, baby daughter, there was um, mother, 
and uh, and this guy, and um, it was an aunt, I think it was. And um, she said that she was a sort of psychic, really, and um, that uh, um, somehow she felt that some, something had almost attached itself to the baby. Um, that when you looked looked at the baby, sometimes she was sort of looking away, looking at you know somebody else in the room, uh, and sometimes she said she looks at you with old eyes, which was a sort of strange, uh, strange thing. And she kept getting these infections; she just wasn't, as I said, thriving was the word they kept using. So uh, um, you know, sort of inquired about the baby. Um, you know, if you had her baptized, and you know, yeah, they had christened. So. Uh, um, and um, so I, um, yeah, I blessed her. I anointed her with the, with the oil that we sometimes use, and I've got a pot of oil here that I carry around with me. And um, it's oil that's blessed for healing. And um, and um, then, you know, the uh, the aunt said, "Yeah, that's it. You know, that's uh, that's what you needed to do. You know, you know, it's it, it's all gone." Um, and uh, you know the atmosphere changed completely, um, and they you know quite happy and relaxed. And um, I love I love the fact that I love once you'd done that for the entire family, they invited you for a barbecue that <laughs> afternoon, which I think is absolutely yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> um, Jason, thank you. Uh, it's uh, as always lovely to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Deliverance is out now. All sorts of uh, of, uh, of stories uh, in there. Some that will I think really really surprise you, especially as they come from a legitimate. Man of the Cloth, not a Hollywood movie. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you.